morning everyone it's eric with his and hers hhq well as you can tell by the thumbnail this is the final reveal of the pride of your country buddy build between myself and mark at blue street customs this was my entry into it mine is the mobius 1966 Ford F100 custom cab 4x4. So I'm going to say I did a whole lot of scratch building with this one. I went above and beyond and in many respects I went uh, so far outside of my comfort zone. I'm, it's just, well, let's I moved the goalpost of my comfort zone. I was so far outside of it. Um, I have to say, though, the cab, it, it's a Mobius kit. So overall, the, everything went together rather smoothly. But you'll see in a moment, I'm happy with the build, but I don't feel it's perfect. And that's because... I went through three paint jobs on the cab. It, the first one turned out, I mean, it was just cruddy as all kinds of cruddy. So I did a lot of wet sanding, cleaned it up a, uh, a whole lot, made everything smooth as a button again, and then uh, reprimed and repainted. The second time around was absolutely worse, and I, I have no idea why. So it was purple bath time. And after cleaning it all up and getting everything situated, getting the paint job on it, I, I still don't quite, I'm not overly happy with the way this turned out, but I, I just could not in my heart go another round of paint with this thing. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm willing to accept, you know, operator error, but I have never worked with this stuff before. And maybe I didn't do it right. So, you know, operator error. Other than that, please forgive the paint job. But you all have seen all the detail and work I've put into this. So... Without further ado, here is the His and Hers HHQ entry into the pride of your country, the Mobius 1966 Ford F100. Again, as you all know, the bed is uh, scratch built. And yes, that's actual balsa wood. I've got license plates on it. Uh, I wanted to do dual exhaust. I'll show you this in a minute. I wanted to do dual exhaust, but I realized that it was going to be really hard to run a second pipe uh, in front of the transfer case for the four-wheel drive or beside it because I don't know. Uh, I did show you the interior, but actually here's a pretty decent shot. Uh, outside of the paint job, operator error, I don't know if it's trying to work. I've got another coat of um, Microsat on it, but there's a little gooberish going on on this decal. Um, but it, it looks like it's trying to work out. So, I mean, it's it's laying flat. It it does look good it's just one of those things it's like uh, it, it's bugging me so real quick let's get a little bit closer here and take a look at the inside of this engine compartment let me see go a little bit closer there I had some absolute fun wiring that thing up. Um, I've got the bases of the wiring harness done. Uh, some of it went a little crazy on me, so it's just, you know, it is what it is, but it, it 
gets the job done right. It actually looks the way uh, I wanted it to for the most part. Um, I, obviously, as you can see, I've got uh, the windshield washer fluid bag uh, done in. I've got the horns wired. There are some extra wiring or is some extra wiring down in here that's supposed to be the headlights and the uh, turn signals. But again, I knew going into it, adding all this extra detail was just going to wind up being hidden. So, uh, I mean, I, I, I accept it. I <laughs> I got this thing together and I'm looking at it and it's like, oh, all that detail, never to be seen again. So let's take a look at this front end. I do like the way that turned out. My license plate uh, provided um, through STS scale model decals, same place I got the decals. Um, it's just a, you know, phenomenal build. I like the way, oh, I just noticed that I forgot to do the keyhole of all the daggum. <laughs> okay, so you caught me in an oopsie. I just noticed I forgot to do the keyholes, but that's all right. I'll take a moment here real quick. Let's back out just a little bit. Whoops. So we can get this. If we can, without breaking things. I've got uh, all the wiring and, of course, the brake lines done. I've got the single exhaust uh, scratch built. Got a little cherry bomb on there. And of course the, um, oh, I don't even know what kind of tip they call that, uh, the exploded bigger tip, just to exaggerate the sound that comes out. Uh, I've got that done up and I mean, four, four and a half months in the making, you know, uh, I don't think it turned out too bad. Uh, it, I had many, many setbacks, um, a lot of things went on, kept getting in the way, but, um, it's finally done. At least the truck is done. I know when I first started this project, I said I was going to have the smoker grill and the lawn chairs and all that. The grill got a, um, redesign in the hinge work and is all sitting over there. Uh, as soon as it's done, I will get it all situated with this truck and do a short with it so you you can see that the point of this was the truck the truck is complete and I hope well I hope I represented America um well at least a decent representation So I'm looking forward to the next build or the next series of builds. I've got, uh, I'm still working on um, a couple and yeah, I'm looking forward to getting those done too. But this here is the pride of your country and thank you all for joining in the series. Again, this was hosted by Mark at Blue Street Customs. Um, if you haven't yet, get on over there, check him out, uh, give a subscribe, and uh, of course a thumbs up. Click the bell for notifications. And, well, I'm Eric with His and Hers HHQ. If you haven't yet, head on over to Facebook and follow us at His and Hers Hobby Headquarters. Take a moment, like, subscribe, share the content, Share the love of scale model building. It truly is a medium limited only by your imagination. 
you build for you. And as always, take a moment, comment below. Maybe five minutes, it may be a few days, but I do try to be as interactive as possible. I really do appreciate the comments, the support. This here is a phenomenal community and I'm absolutely honored to be a part of it. I, it it's, I, I really am humbled. And getting to participate in group builds and buddy builds, it really helps push my skill level and my skill set further than I expected it would ever be. So I'm going to say thank you. Thank you all. New subscribers, old subscribers, thank you. You all are an epic bunch. I'm Eric. Have a good day. Thank you.